listened to, well, I'm actually not going to say the name of this podcast. I'm not going to say what I usually say, which is hello, 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 and welcome to Success University with your host, Crystal Colley, also known as the most famous woman in the world. I'm not going to say that because I have an extremely exciting announcement to make in this episode, and I want to kind of hype it up a little bit because I honestly am so excited, and you know, sometimes in life, you start things and epiphanies happen along the way that guide you closer to your target. And I know that with this podcast, I have an end goal in mind. I have, I have a vision, right? Um, I, I actually named this, uh, podcast success university for a couple of reasons, but one, one reason was because YouTube had just recently rolled out their handles And, uh, as someone with multiple businesses and a thousand hobbies and interests and multiple artists and producer names and all kinds of stuff going on, I'm kind of obsessed with usernames and handles. It's a thing. I don't, I don't know if there's anybody else out there that's as obsessed with handles as me, but I love me a good handle. Like, man, sometimes I just look back and kick myself right in the butt for not grabbing better handles when some of these social media platforms first came out, you know, like, dang, I always try to get those generic ones. Um, you know, like, and sorry, sorry about that guys. I thought I turned off my do not disturb, but I didn't turn it off on my computer. So that was me, not you. All right. Turning that off now. So I named it that I named it success university because it was a handle that was open on YouTube. And I knew I wanted something like school or university or, you know, academy program, something like that. Mostly because of, um, I was thinking of school of greatness podcast, shout out. Hey, uh, I was thinking of Marie Forleo's B school. Uh, I was thinking of impact theory university, Um, and, and, you know, so I thought, what is something university that I can, that I can grab real quick and I could be that. And, you know, so when six, when I saw that success university was a handle open on YouTube, I was like, oh my God, can you believe nobody took that yet? Like that handle is amazing. I could put it everywhere. Success university. And also I love being cheesy. I don't care. I love being cheesy. I'm that person that goes to the Tony Robbins event and jumps up and down and is happy as a pee in a pod. I love talking to people. I mean, I'm a nerd, you know. At at the end of the day, I might I might try to make myself look like a cool kid, but really at the end of the day, I'm a dork. And I love cheesy stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Shout out. So, okay, okay. So, I'm getting too excited. All right. So, I am changing this podcast name as of today to the Millionaire Mentor Method. Millionaire Mentor Method podcast and and domain and handles and everything. And let me tell you why and what exactly I was thinking of. So with this podcast, my main goal was really just wanting to talk about subjects that I'm passionate about, wanting to learn because the best way to learn anything is to teach it, to talk about it. Um, You know, in in preparing these last uh, 12 episodes, I learned a few things. I went over a few things that I had forgotten. and, And so that's really my goal. My goal is to learn along with you. And just also to keep myself in the correct mindset. Because if I'm talking about, you know, get your mind right, um, you know, don't be around toxic people, change your perspective, change your life. If I'm talking about those things every day, five days a week, I mean, 
how can I not actually live that way? And let me tell you something. I've been doing this podcast now for only two weeks and I'm telling you, even though right now I'm going to be really honest with you, I have had 10 listeners on this podcast right now. So, so far right now we're on lucky number 13 and I've had 10 listeners and you know what? I'm so thankful for those 10 listeners. You know why? Because I know that each person counts. It's not about how many people It's about each individual person, but okay. Anyways, I digress, and I know that it's gonna grow more than 10, especially now, so all right. That was my purpose of the podcast, and that's that's the purpose of of, um, the YouTube channel and all that. Also, I wanted a community of like-minded people. Um, I am 37 years young right now, and I like the idea of talking about things I'm passionate about with other people who are passionate about that and all of that. I love mastermind groups. I love meetups. I love all of that. And I love being able to meet people in a safe, healthy environment where, you know, you know that the people that are in that room with you, like everybody's on the same page. Nobody's trying to backstab anybody. You know, that's, it's a beautiful thing. So Uh, my little cousin, Jason, I'm shouting you out on my podcast, Jay, right now. You better be listening. (laughs) So my little cousin, who's not little anymore, um, uh, started a new business venture. And I think it's so funny how sometimes the universe works because he is very similar to me in his entrepreneurial goals, and just having a passion for business. And uh, so he reached out to me a couple times and you know just asked for a little bit of, of advice or just to talk about business and what, what did I have on the horizon and stuff like that. And while talking to him, I was like, this is fun. I'm having fun. And anybody who knows me um, in real life, IRL, um, if I'm not talking about something I'm actually interested in and on and, and in the room with people who are on the same page, I don't really give anybody the time of day. And whether that's good or bad, I don't know. But the point is, I don't really have time anymore to waste. Life is short and you can't have every conversation with every single person because otherwise you're never going to get anything done. I like to have conversations about things that are uplifting, important, helpful. Um, So, you know, I'm talking to him and I'm like, this is funny. He probably doesn't even know that I hardly ever get on the phone with anyone about anything. I mean, I only get on the phone and talk to maybe five people in my life. Because, you know, hey, you know, I mean, check-ins with family here and there is cool, but I just don't like to have conversations that aren't positive, helpful, and where I feel like I'm learning something, uh, or at least reminding myself about something I already know. Anyways, all right, so I digress again as usual, but I was talking to him, and I'm like, this is fun. I'm having fun. And not only that, but it's great because I'm reminding myself of the things that I know, but when you have to articulate that to someone and explain it in a way that makes sense, it hits you again, it hit me again, and I'm like, oh my God, I need to take my own advice. You know, this is stuff I know on a cognitive basis, but to be able to actually, excuse me, to actually implement it is a holy, a holy, is a whole other uh, situation, and you gotta continually remind yourself of certain things. And so, you know, I hung up the phone and I'm like, you know what, let me, let me send him some things that I use that took me literally some of the resources I use took me 20 years to find. And a couple of those things, when I found them, I literally was like, oh my God, (laughs) why didn't someone give me this 20 years ago? Or why did I have to stumble upon it right now? You know, I could have used this so much, oh my God, in a concrete way, you know, resources that 
have made me hundreds of thousands of dollars, resources that made me actually happier, actually better, actually more fulfilled, actually healthier, not just on the surface, not just read it and then forget about it. But so I gave him a couple of those resources and a, and a couple of things that I've created myself as well that, wow, have really, really, really helped me. And so I, I thought to myself, wow, I wish I could have, you know, a more systematized way of, and not just for him or other people I, I am, you know, I have mentored or am going to mentor, but for me, a systematized way of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, go down the alphabet of exactly what to actually do to create a small business, a medium business, a big business, how to, how to actually do things in a step-by-step way that's realistic. So one, you know, that's, that's actually one thing that I've on and off over the past 20 years I've been looking for, um, you know, a, a system where it's like I could just go by the program and it just tells me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the steps, do them. And I don't mean, I don't actually even mean like getting an MBA because that, first of all, is extremely expensive and time consuming and takes four years. Um, actually it takes, you know, up to eight years, right? Cause you have to get your undergraduate too. So we're talking eight years, like, mm, no, eight years. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you want to start a business and you want to, you know, upgrade your income level, you want to upgrade your life. You can't take, you can't be taking eight years, even if you're 20, Um, not that I'm knocking education because I have multiple degrees and I love school, but, um, you know, there's really nothing out there that actually holds your hand and tells you, okay, you have zero dollars, you have no degree, or maybe you do, it doesn't matter. You are broke. Your credit is in the trash. You have a 485 credit. You have no money and no skills. What do I do as step one, step one, and not just in a like a theoretical way, not just in a, you know, get up earlier, exercise, drink water, get your diet going together. Not in that type of way. I mean, exactly what do I actually do? (laughs) Um, Like, give me a worksheet. Give me a link. Where do I fill out what? Like, where's the application? You know, one, like, here's an example. Here's an example. Step one, step one of my now uh, new podcast and hopefully very soon program of the Millionaire Mentor Method. Step one, step one, people, is... Get your very basic, basic, basic expenses covered, right? That's step one. Before we're starting the next Uber, we have to be able to eat. And there's absolutely nothing at all to be ashamed of in doing whatever job. It doesn't matter, especially if you're young, You know, if you're in your 20s and 30s and you know what, even 40s, you know what, heck, doesn't really matter. But working 40 hours a week to just get your basic, just basic expenses covered, that's really step one in starting your own business. Why? Because I would never advise anyone, (laughs) including myself, to just wing it like to just jump off and wing it. No, we're not jumping off and winging it because I don't want you to end up homeless. I don't want you to end up in your car. I don't want you to be so stressed that you literally can't find your next meal or that your lights are getting cut off or that you're being evicted. 
all of those things are real. (laughs) They happen all the time. Uh, They've happened to me. And that's not going to be conducive to you starting the next Uber. If you want to start the next Uber or whatever thing it is, absolutely, number one, we have to get you stable. We have to get it to where you have a roof over your head, some type of transportation, doesn't have to be a car. If it's a bicycle, great. If it's just a debit card so you can Uber, great. If it's just getting on the bus, even better because it's going to save you money. Okay, so roof over your head. If you really want to get really crazy, I would say, you know, get the cheapest place you can get. Get a roommate, sleep on their couch. That's how I started We Dash. I started We Dash by sleeping on my friend's couch. I was paying $300 a month. And I put every dime into my business, and that's how I started it. Um, so, okay, that, for example, would be step one. And so with this idea, this program that I want to start, it's a couple of things. So one, to be able to have a program that you can sign in and it's actually affordable. Uh, I mean, to be honest, there are probably programs out there that are similar. Um, But I truly feel that the price point is out of reach. I mean, when, when you're, you know, barely able to pay your cell phone bill and you want to start a business, but you don't know where to, where to start. So you, you know, are signing up for stuff and somebody hits you with a $6,000 course. I mean, that's cool. (laughs) But let's be real. Who has $6,000 like laying around? (laughs) Like I know people who are making $100,000 and more and don't have $6,000 laying around. So for someone, just an average person, you know, making minimum wage or a little bit above minimum wage, that's super not realistic. So um, I want to make this program affordable and I have so many good ideas about how to do that. But, uh, okay. Another thing. So I went, okay. At first I was going to just do millionaire method because who doesn't want to, to do the millionaire method, right? I mean, success university. I love the name and I love how cheesy it is. But the thing about it is if I saw that, if I saw that somewhere, I'm about to get my car wrapped. Um, I was just about to get it wrapped actually in success university logos. And I thought to myself, you know what? That's dope. I love it. Like I love it. It looks sexy. I love the black and yellow idea that I had. Um, black and yellow, black and yellow. I love it. But I thought to myself, I don't know if that's the best name for, for a program because I thought, yeah, I kind of do want to do a program When I was thinking of millionaire method to wrap it in millionaire method, I'm like, see, now that's something that if I saw that on a car wrap, I'd be like, millionaire method. I got to check out what the millionaire method is. Like, that's me. That's, That's exactly speaking from the heart. If I saw that, I'd be like, millionaire method. Hell yeah. Now, what is it? Like, give me it so I can make another million. Give me it so I can make a million. Right? So I was thinking about him like, yeah, millionaire method. Cool. Looked it up on YouTube. Is the handle open? Oh, yes. Very nice. Very nice. And then I thought to myself, you know, how many business leaders do you know who all say you need a mentor? You need a mentor. You have to have a mentor. Go get a mentor. And this is the real truth. And this is me speaking from the heart because I now realize that my value is in being actually me and not trying to hide who I am, not trying to hide my story, not trying to hide my personality, not trying to hide my past, none of that. 
So I know that when I've heard other business leaders say, you have to get a mentor, the best way, the, the fastest way to a million dollars is to get a mentor. I'm just going to be really honest. The first thing I'm like, the first thing I would always think is, where the hell am I going to find a mentor? Like, where the hell am I going to find a mentor? Like, what am I going to do? Okay, I'm just going to like, what, just start emailing people? I mean, I guess, but it just, honestly, I never formally, I never formally reached out to anyone to be a mentor. Um, I now have a couple of mentors that, that sort of evolved into that along years, but the first business leader I heard say that um, which actually, if you want to know who I, who I heard that first from, it was Ty Lopez, um, who I met a long ass time ago before he was doing his In My Garage Lamborghini videos. Um, I actually met him on a dating website. Uh, I had no idea who he was. And um, yeah, it was pretty pretty crazy story. Um, yeah, D- I'll tell you that story f- uh, different day. Not It's not even really a big story. It's just... I guess interesting, I guess, for, for people in, in this community, in these, in these communities and in this space. But I heard it from him first and I heard it, I mean, oh my God, I don't even remember how long ago that was. 10 years ago, something like that. Um, and I'm just like, where am I going to find a mentor? And it just seems so out of reach. It just seems so like, where am I supposed to just go find a mentor? And Another thing, I'm just going to be really honest, I'm giving it to you straight. Me as a young woman, maybe not so much right now, but Crystal as a 22-year-old, I started having severe social anxiety because I'm just going to be real with you. I felt like I never knew if I was going to approach a dude, if I was going to approach a man in a, you know, wanting a business relationship And all they wanted was, you know what? And there had been enough times in my life up to that point in my early 20s that I didn't want to try anymore. And that was from being in the music industry, trying to find producers who all they wanted was sex and they would lie to me and blow smoke up my ass and say, oh yeah, I want to produce you, blah, 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 come to the studio, you're so amazing, I would love to sign you, whatever. And, you know, they didn't have anything like that in mind. And, you know, (laughs) poor me, poor 20-something-year-old Crystal, you know, I would just get so mad and so disappointed and I just felt so, I mean, just, it's bad, right? So, you know, when I first heard get a mentor, I'm like, bro, like I'm not doing that. And, and that's just the truth. And do I think that was the right approach for me to take? No, I don't. If I were my own mentor, uh, now today I would go back and say, just reach out to women. Then if you have PTSD from bad experiences, then you know what? Own it. You, you're not superwoman. You're not perfect. You can't overcome every single weakness all at once, all together. So look, if you if you have PTSD from bad experiences with dudes, go get a female business mentor. That's what I would have said. And yeah, I would have said, yeah, go start emailing people. Um, you know, ask nicely. Go to networking events. But again, my my social anxiety at that time was was off the charts for me to try to go to a networking event by myself. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. Not happening now today. Yeah, sure. Okay. Now it's different. I've overcome those things. I've worked on myself. I've taken the, you know, therapy and all that stuff. But so with this, I thought millionaire method, that's a dope name. I like it. But what if I could create a community that is based on being a mentor. And the first thing I thought of was AA. Alcoholics Anonymous uses sponsors. And 
their whole premise is to get a sponsor. Um, I mean, it's worked for how many years now for them? I mean, it was started when in the 50s? In the 30s? I forget. But the sponsor idea and method works. And it works because there's someone there to help you. (laughs) It's so simple. It's so common sense. There's someone there to help you. And there's someone there to provide accountability for you. To keep you on track. And not only that, but let me tell you that the mentor whoever it is, they're getting value too. It's not a one-way street. They're getting value too because you're teaching them stuff too. You don't think, maybe you don't think you are, but you are. Why? Because maybe there's an age gap there and the mentor doesn't always have to be the older one, by the way. It just depends on what industry you have a skill set in, right? But Two brains are better than one. There's never going to be two people who know exactly all the same exact things. There's always going to be an exchange of information there and an exchange of value. So I thought to myself, wow, what if I could create this specifically built on the backbone of if you take this course, you have to become a mentor to someone in the community and to build it on each one, teach one. That's my, my slogan for success university was demonstrate excellence and bravery because I say that to myself every day, demonstrate excellence, demonstrate excellence. And I try to keep that in my mind. Um, and that will probably still keep going because I love it, but this could be each one, teach one, each one, teach one because it keeps us all on the same page. And on top of that, I thought to myself a couple things. One, it's gonna take me a while to actually make this uh, program uh, because I want it to be thorough and I don't want it to just be a bunch of videos that you watch because I hate courses like that, like literally hate. When I take courses, I want it to be like, give me a book. (laughs) And not a book just to read the book. I want worksheets. I want an app. I want like charts. And I don't know, just give me gizmos. Give me gadgets. Give me something because my biggest problem is just forgetting about stuff. And then like, just like forgetting about it. And the next thing I know, a year later, I'm like, oh my God, I haven't done the thing. And I love... I love worksheets and actual paper. So this is going to take a bit to actually make. Um, And I thought to myself, you know, uh, this is going to be a lot of a lot of proprietary information and methodologies that aren't just pulling from business, but also pulling from my biobehavioral degree. So it's going to be based on data and psychology and science and brain science, stuff like that, as well as business, which is perfect and which is why I have the background I have. It's what I wanted to to mix business and psychology and behavior, human, human behavior. So, okay, that's a long rant to say that, yes, I am going to charge for this, of course, because... I have to. Um, And to be honest with you, that was another reason why I started thinking of why should, of uh, why I started thinking that Success University might not be the best uh, title because I couldn't really see that being monetizable. Um, And I can't keep making podcasts forever without getting paid. Um, So yes, I'm going to have to charge for it. I definitely want to charge a reasonable amount, nothing astronomical. But then I thought to myself, you know what? I'm actually trying to solve a problem here. I'm trying to solve the problem of what I faced, which is when I had no money, I'm not 
going to pay $997 for a course in business. I don't have $997. I was paying $300 a month on my friend's couch when I started my business. So I thought, okay, I'm not going to do the same things that all the other business gurus have done, which is charge anywhere from 1,000 to 15,000 for a course that's just a bunch of videos. So, and I probably shouldn't just say this on my very first time talking about uh, the millionaire mentor method, which I still haven't even, I mean, literally I thought about this just a couple hours ago. I I just quickly went through it in my head and went, yes, I'm doing it. So I probably shouldn't just be laying it all out there like this. But my idea of how do I offer this for free or very, very low cost? How do I, how do I have it so that the people who can afford it can pay for it and just go through it? But what about the people who can't like me when I, like me 10 years ago, what about her? What about him? How can I make it? actually affordable. Okay. So I thought, all right, I can do a payment plan, which yes, I'm definitely going to do that because it always pisses me off when nobody wants to offer a payment plan. Like just offer a payment plan. Jesus. Um, scholarships. Definitely. I definitely know that I will be asking the people who can afford the course to offer scholarships for, so other people can take it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But then I thought, you know, a few months ago, I started trying to work through in my mind how in the world Tony Robbins supposedly has hundreds of companies under his organization. Uh, I heard that on a podcast I think it might have been Marie Forleo's podcast that he was on that I heard he had hundreds of businesses under his under his organization. I was like, "Damn, really? How? Even even as a billionaire, that's rough. That's rough. Like really. Even if you have the money, just managing that amount of people and and managing separate business models. So it's one thing if you're the CEO of General Motors and you have a multi-billion dollar company with thousands of employees. It's one company. You're all doing one thing. You're making cars. That's the thing that you do. That's your industry. Everybody's on the same page. You're making cars. But if you have 200 individual businesses in all kinds of different sectors. I mean, oh my God, each one with their own accounting, each one with their own CEO, each one, like my brain just exploded. I'm like, honestly, I don't think I would want that. But I do have something around maybe 20 or so business ideas that it actually pains my heart to know that I couldn't get those all done all at once by myself. It really does because I love the ideas so much and a couple of them I bought the domains and I'm like, oh, I love this domain so much, but I just don't have time. There's no possible way. I can't do 20 businesses right now. So I'm just hanging on to these domains like, no, I don't want to let them go. And hanging on to, uh, a lot of them have matching, the matching handles. And I have about 15 already completely built websites that I built, spent, I don't even want to know how many hours on. And ended up for one reason or another saying, you know what, I I can't keep going with this. I can't do this business. I have too much on my plate. There's no possible way I'm going to be able to do it. So these, these websites, handles, and domains are just sitting there. So that's a very long-winded way to explain that. A few weeks ago, I thought, hmm, 
Maybe I could just give these domains and business plans and websites away for free to a young person who is hungry and, and I can just give them these and I can mentor them. I will provide that value for them in exchange for equity. And this way I can have my little brand that I want, you know, that I like so much. I can give something to someone, um, you know, that they can't afford because I would, to mentor someone on a personal level, I would charge $10,000 a month. But I thought, you know, if I can actually get them to actually just do what I'm saying and actually do it day by day by day, actually holding their hand and able to keep them accountable, well then just give me equity. Because I know that if I'm there watching you, and I don't mean just watching like the business or a phone call here and there, I mean if the business starts making money and you have a Kia and next thing you know you're pulling up in a brand new Audi, we're gonna have to talk. (laughs) If the business isn't profitable yet and you bought a new car, this conversation is not going to be fun for you because I'm going to be very real with you and I'm not going to want to be your mentor anymore. And I'm going to pull rank and take my trademarks back. So, you know, but on the flip side, if I'm actually watching, you know, that person's life and their spending habits and just keeping them on track in the direction that they actually want to go, well, then just give me 10%. Especially if you're going to keep that business going, not just for a year, two, three years, but actually keep it going. That's going to, you know, actually be your, your long-term business until there is a IPO or a exit strategy that makes sense. So I am thinking of making the millionaire mentor method free in exchange for equity. Now that's just a thought, people. So if something changes and I switch up the situation, don't be mad at me. I might have to just offer it um, you know, at cost for a while until I build up enough momentum and enough staff to be able to actually do it correctly. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just super pumped because I can see how this can work. I, the number one thing I love is just each one teach one that, you know, it's basically a requirement that you become a mentor because when you become a mentor, you learn better. And also you don't have to be a a millionaire to be a mentor. That's the point too. Um, I might even make it so that there is a way to basically take the Millionaire Mentor Method program and add additional, let's say, one additional module that is custom to you. Because I'm not in every single industry, and if you can somehow take that program... And let's say there's, I don't know, let's say there's 10 modules and uh, you, there's a space in there in the, in the software that you fill out your expertise and what you have to add based on your particular industry. And then you can sell that course. And I'll take a percentage. And yes, is that multi-level marketing? Yeah, (laughs) I'm a business person. Hello, I'm not trying to, you know, do work for free. I need something to get out of bed in the morning for. Multi-level marketing, you know, it's it's only a bad word if it doesn't work, (laughs) right? It's only a bad word if it's an actual pyramid scheme that provides no value and no one's actually making any money besides the people at the top. Uh, Then, yeah, that's not good. But my mom used to sell Avon. (laughs) 
So it can't, you know, it's not all bad. Not every single MLM company is completely horrible. So these are some ideas I'm kicking around, but I know for a fact that I am going to create this program either way. I'm pumped about it. I like the M's. And actually it's funny because my, in my schedule, I have MMM every Monday, which is my Monday morning meeting with myself and my team. MMM every Monday, Monday morning. I like Monday mornings because of that. Get up. MMM, plan the week. Everybody's week starts on Monday and I love planning and making sure that everybody's on track. First thing on the very first day as the very first thing on the agenda, right in the beginning, because we all need to get started each week correctly. And MMM, Monday morning meeting, is the best way to do it. I love it. I love that it's MMM and then Millionaire Mentor Method MMM. I'm like, I love this. Uh, another, another MM I like miracle morning by Hal Elrond shout out a lot of M's. So yes, I may go back and change my first 12 podcasts, change the intro, or maybe I won't, you know, maybe I won't, maybe I'll just leave it how it is because that's reality. I started it as one thing and realized I can provide way more value if there's something I can actually give you and an actual program that you can take. And in the meantime, I mean, who knows, maybe this is gonna be my way to have 200 companies like like Tony Robbins has, right? If if I have a small equity stake in your success and everybody has a mentor and everybody's mentoring someone, keeping everybody accountable and going with actual real strategies and you know things like, I wanna give people spreadsheets you know, so that when you open your business, you don't have to create your own spreadsheet to keep your, you know, to do your accounting. I want to have a module on QuickBooks. It's not going to be just all proprietary. I'm going to give you the things that I actually use. And it's not going to be all of the tiny little details and taking months and months and months and months. It's like, no. Each module is, look, here's your basic spreadsheet. It's already filled out for you. Here's the best website to, you you know, to, uh, to hire. Here's a contract, here's a partnership agreement, here's your operating agreement, here's the link to to get your LLC going, here's the link to do your EIN in each state. I want it to be like, choose your adventure. You know, maybe there's gonna be three, you know, you you open the millionaire mentor method and the first thing you see is, where are you? You know, one, 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 two, or three, or maybe one, two, and three, and four. One, you're in debt up to your eyeballs, you're, in, you're negative $50,000 to your name, okay? Start here, press the button, <laughs> go to step two. There's a link there to get yourself on food stamps. Yes, really. You're living out of your car, press this button. Here is a link to your county's uh, social services because we're, we're real here, people. We're real here. If you, you know, can't eat, we got to get you some food. <laughs> All right. You know, we got to start at, at square one. You can't jump to square 17 unless you go to square one. Maybe, you know, it'll be, all right, box one, you're negative, you're, you know, you don't have somewhere to live, like click this box. Box two, you are even and you have a place to live. You have your roof over your head. Click this box because now that's where you choose your adventure. Step, you know, number three, you already have a business. It's already monetized, but you need, you know, you've hit a wall, you're stuck 
or you want to go to the next level. Okay, well, that's a different choose your adventure starting point, right? Because that person can skip over a few things. Um, you know, that person might not need the module on credit. If their credit's already a 680 or 700, I'm not going to make them go through the module on credit. Obviously, they don't need it. That would be a waste of time. So that's their choose your adventure. Or box four, you are retired and you're just looking to make your hobby into something more fun and maybe monetize it and give the money to charity or something. That's a different choose your adventure. And as far as I know, there's nothing out there like it. You know, there's no course that you can literally just click the freaking button, choose your adventure. Where are you right now? You're in debt. Well, we got to start. We have to get your debt situation under control because that's not, that's not going to be conducive, right? So that would be getting a, a plan together for that. All right. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm about to wrap my Corvette drive it around, millionaire mentor method. Let's go, let's go. Let's build a community. Let's each one teach one. Let's make sure that, especially for women out there, let's make sure that we can lean on each other. Let's make sure that if you are already a business leader in your industry, let's get you, let's get you a mentee. Let's get you a young woman you can help because that's, that's fucking cool. All right. I'm changing my outro. I'm changing my outro too. Remember each one teach one. The information provided in this podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice, investment advice, or medical advice. The host is not a financial advisor nor a medical doctor or licensed therapist. Any financial or medical decisions made based on the information in this podcast are made at the listener's own risk. It is recommended that listeners consult with licensed professionals such as CPAs, financial advisors, and licensed physicians before making any investment or medical decisions. The host and creators of this podcast accept no responsibility or liability for any loss or damages incurred as a result of the information provided in this podcast.